drywall. My dad told me not to do drywall ever, and yet I still do it. Estimating, though, that's where the money is. Let somebody else do the hard work. Okay, looking at our drywall tables, we notice our units are in square feet. And again, like we've talked about this before, look at the cost of material and labor and compare them. So drywall, 29 cents for material, $1.37 for labor. So this is a very labor-intensive trade. Most of your work's going towards people and not towards material. Drywall material is exceptionally cheap compared to others. To estimate drywall, we need to consider what the room looks like. Okay, so if I have a room beautifully squared, you like my beautifully square room, and let's say, we'll keep it simple, we'll just say it's 10 feet by 10 feet. Okay, do not, do not, 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 say 10 by 10 equals 100. 100 times $1.66 is $166. That is not right. When we're talking about square feet for walls, it's the actual wall itself. So my room actually has four walls and a ceiling. Don't forget the ceiling. And a wall is generally eight feet tall. So one wall is going to be 10 feet long. This wall right here is going to be 10 feet long by eight feet tall, which is going to be 80 square feet. That's one wall. My other wall is also 10 feet long by eight feet tall, so that will be 80. So I will have a total of four walls that are 80 square feet each. Eight times four is 32, carry the zero, so I have 320 square feet of wall. But I'm not done, I also have a ceiling. Okay, and my ceiling is going to be 10 feet by 10 feet. 10 by 10 is 100. Add my 320 plus my 100 and I get 420 square feet. So now we go over here, just like everything else, we have to choose our product. Okay, standard residential application will be a half inch gypsum wall board. Uh, if I'm using a bathroom or a kitchen, I'm going to use a water resistant wall board. Um, it's got some antimicrobial properties and it's, it's a better construction for water resistant. If I'm going between living units or between a living unit and a garage, I need what's called a fire rated drywall. And usually, code calls for a 5 8 inch fire rated drywall. That's the size we'd use. Um, if I'm doing an industrial application, generally 5 eighths of an inch is what's used for industrial, not half inch. So make sure we've got the correct material for that. If we're doing a two hour fire rated wall, when we did warehouse remodels, anytime you've got two different tenants sharing a unit, they had a two hour firewall between them. That means that if a fire breaks out in one unit, it will take two hours for the fire to burn through that firewall, that drywall firewall. And the reason is that gypsum has fire retardant properties. It actually has a moisture content. So when it heats up, it releases that moisture as steam and that helps retard the fire. Um, eventually it will burn through though. Back to our room. We have 420 square feet of drywall we need to apply. So we go up here to our install charge and we're going to take our total for install and we're gonna multiply that by 420 to get the total installation. If we're cleaning and painting, we would also need to add in these amounts as well. So it'd be $1.66 plus 30 plus 59 to get our total square foot cost. As always, we wanna compare that to our 221 minimum job. If I have 420 square feet of drywall and I know it's more than a dollar each, I know that I'm gonna be more than my minimum job right here. That's basically what you need to know. Go forth and solve some problems.